My apologies if I sneeze a lot. Allergies. But let's jump right into it. Pretty much this video, I'm going to be talking about the natural supplement slash holistic ways to deal with your anxiety. I just want to disclaim that these can be solutions for some people. A lot of studies have shown that they don't necessarily eliminate anxiety. Take whatever stance you want on holistic medicine. In my opinion, solving mental disorders is kind of a combination of things and it varies from person to person. So these might be a supplement versus a solution, but everyone's different. I do want to say that dealt with anxiety a lot of my life. The first and most important thing is to figure out what it's stemming from. And that can be a really long and complicated process. It can be a psychological, emotional thing, or it can be a chemical thing. It can be a combination of both. Um, mine is definitely a combination and I'm still working on it today. A lot of it has to do with hormones for me. I have thyroid problems, I have endometriosis, polycystic ovary syndrome, bunches of things that definitely affect my anxiety levels but I also have you know, deep-rooted things um, in my psyche that cause me to be more anxious. So I'm working through those, but using these supplements have definitely helped me in my life. You know, if I'm feeling anxious, uh, I can usually use one of these or like use them for a few weeks at a time. These are things that have helped me and I do want to share them with you. Even if that is just placebo, placebo still works. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna jump right into it. All right, supplement number one is gonna be kava, kava? Uh, this one's pretty high on my list because it's one of my favorites. Uh, I still take it every now and then. It comes in a number of different forms, including liquid, capsules, a number of other things. My favorite is the liquid because it's super concentrated. I can put a few drops in my drink and really mellows me out. If you do a lot, you can actually get like kind of high on this stuff. So I've heard I haven't taken that much, but it's a super nice way to just like chill out, relax your mind, relax your body and there's a lot of physical benefits to it. I believe it helps with immunity and, doo -doo -doo, and a few other things. It originates in the Pacific Islands and what it does is it targets the GABA receptors in your brain. Therefore, it's like not a synthesized reaction. Uh, it just like enhances those receptors to help you produce more calming chemicals. <laughs> okay, number two on my list is lavender. Not only do I love the smell of lavender, it helps with a lot of things. It helps with anxiety and it also helps with depression. What it does is it provides a sedative effect to your central nervous system, which helps calm you down, if you know what I mean. This also comes in a number of different forms, including capsules, and you can also buy the actual dried flower and put it in teas. Sometimes I put it in my bath because when you steam it, you inhale it and it can get into your bloodstream that way as well. It also comes in an oil because aromatherapy is another sort of holistic way to heal and supposedly these concentrated oils by inhaling them and getting them into your blood system can help improve different things depending on what you're working on so essential oils are great if you have a diffuser at home you can use uh, essential oil a lavender essential oil aromatherapy can help relieve anxiety and depression so lavender is another great one on the list all right number three is going to be GABA which we did talk about when we discussed kava you have GABA receptors in your GABA GABA you do have them in your brain People take it for a number of different reasons. It's a natural substance produced in the body. In multiple studies, there has shown a correlation between uh, depleted levels of GABA, depression, pain, and anxiety. The way to take GABA is capsules. It might come in some other different forms, I'm not entirely sure. The recommended daily dose is about 500 milligrams. So try that first if you need to bump it up or bump it down. Depends on your body and your brain. All right, next we are gonna be talking about chamomile. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this. This is a um, pretty popular one. This one has been known to help with sleep. It definitely helps with insomnia, and that's because it does have a mild sedative effect. So a lot of times before bed, I will have chamomile tea to help with my anxiety levels and to help me relax. Even if I wake up and I'm anxious, I might have a cup of chamomile tea in the morning just to calm my nerves, relax me, and help me take on the day. Chamomile does have a long-term effect, so it is best consuming it daily, which means that it's great for assisting chronic anxiety. The one we are gonna be talking about is magnesium. This one is one of my all-time favorites, just because it works on the spot. You really just need something that's quick to help you relax, help you calm down. Magnesium is great. It also comes in a few different forms. My favorite is the powder. And so what you do with that is you can just put a few tablespoons in your drink. It's gonna fizz up for a little bit. There's actually flavors of it. So if you want it flavored or unflavored, that's up to you. But it's super easy. You just drink the drink and it mellows you out. 
Just so you know, magnesium is a laxative, so don't take too much. It is an essential mineral that your body needs, so if you're not getting enough of it, there is a higher level of anxiety and often depression. But if you have overconsumption, that's not good either. It's not something you need a ton of. Recommended daily dose is between 100 and 500 milligrams daily, so you can toy around with that, figure out how much you're getting, how much you're absorbing, how much you get from your diet, and how much you're gonna take. All right, guys. So those are all the supplements I'm gonna be covering today. I really hope this helped you out. I can always make more. Supplementing is fantastic. So yeah, get some of these a go. Um, there are plenty more if you want to look into it further. But these are some of my top favorites, and this is what helped me with my anxiety. I wish you the best of luck. Stay happy and healthy. See you next video.